Right. Headphones. Check. Cup of tea. <coughs> Check. Let's uh, let's get going, shall we? <coughs> Sorry about that. Hey, fever's uh, kicking my ass right now. Uh, oh, go away, Google. <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, normally I would put a video out for our channel on Wednesdays or sometimes Thursdays for Star Citizen. However, uh, with 3.10 due, I was hoping this week, um, any video that I had plans for really is basically going to be outdated immediately. So I didn't bother putting anything out uh, simply because it seemed kind of pointless. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to ramble and play for a little bit whilst I wait for 3.10 and, I don't know, build up some Alpha UEC because I am flat broken game Do -do -do. when the game actually loads. I run this off a 970 Samsung Evo and it still takes forever. Hey, there we go. Right. If anyone does watch, I don't know what, what the hell just happened there. If anyone does watch, I don't know why you'd want to watch me bumble about the universe, but hey-ho. Um, by all means, post comments in the uh, in the chats. I shall do my best to answer them as and when I see them. Ask me questions about 3.10. I'm not an Eva Carty member, unfortunately, uh, so I can't give you any Star Citizen leaks. You want to look at the Star Citizen leaks, guys, for that. Uh, but I am pretty much up to date with everything, so yeah, ask any questions you might have. Ooh. I'm a Star Citizen subscriber as well. Looks like the ship this month is the Mantis. Nice. Last time I used a Mantis, I got a 15,000 GBC fine because I accidentally pulled an innocent dude out of Quantum. Let's make sure I don't do that again. Uh, let's have a look. Pad 2 is this way. Do, do, do. Oh, actually. Have I got any of my armor? Because I had a bug last time. I have got literally nothing, and my character is not my actual character. Of course it isn't. Right, uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 armor. Uh, oh, no, it has actually applied the dust up. That's good. Right, dust ups on everything. That's all set. It's got my sidearm. Do, 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 do. No grenades. Oh, for God's sake. You gotta love this game sometimes. <laughs> Oxypens, Oxypens. Yeah, I totally planned all this like well in advance, and this wasn't a last minute thing, honest. Combat knife, don't need any of that. Assault rifle. Actually, it does have everything on it, it just doesn't think it does. I have all my magazines as well, the game just doesn't think I do. That'll do. Let's actually check. Oh. Hey, there we go. Yep, got all my magazines. We are good to go. Okay, I forgot which pad my uh, ship was on. What's up, dude? I don't even know if I've got proxcoms on. Saying what's up, dude, might have done absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Do, do, do. Yeah, I've got absolutely no plans for this. Um, if anyone does want to join in, uh, by all means do so. Our Discord link is down below. You are welcome to join in on Discord. Obviously paste any comments you've got down below. And how the hell do I get into this ship? Uh, where the fuck is the entrance? Oh, wait, there it is. Dude, dude. If... Really? Oh, for God's sake, that is such bad design on the... thing. Right, let's jump in and see what she can actually do. Alright, what missions we got? Uh, let's have a look. How poor I am. I am down to 8,000 UEC. I am really very poor. Uh, let's see. What have we got? Bounty Hunter. Uh, pro term for Northrock. Authorization assessment. E oh, that's Crusader. Let's take that. I've no idea what the... Uh, the combat capabilities of this ship are, so this is probably not going to go very well. Come on. Oh, they have added the... Uh... Oh, that's good. 
That was never there before. Right, let's have a gander. Where am I going? We're going to... Uh, of course we're going to Bloody Hurston. I totally planned this well, didn't I? Come on. Oh, I hate this sometimes. I don't know if it's just me that gets that bug, but for some reason it just doesn't register that you've actually selected something. Right. Caleb Dark, 07 to you as well, good sir. We mean insufficient fuel. Did I just get into a ship with no fuel in it? Ugh, this game. <laughs> this game sometimes, I love it, I do, but I hate it. It can be so frustrating. Ugh, for the love of all. How have I got into a ship with no fuel? Or does it just turn out that the... The Mantis actually comes with basically no fuel. Right. Have I actually got fuel? Only used hydrogen fuel. I have... <sighs> right. That didn't happen. You didn't see me crash. Ow, it's fine. Just give me the fine. It's not like I'm already broke. How do I... There we go. Yeah, it turns out that the Mantis has got the jump range of, well, me. And as someone who's a little bit podgy, believe me, my jump range is not very good. So, fuck that ship. Uh, I'm gonna go get my Titan. Ah. Do, 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 do. At least I would, if I could actually remember how to get back inside. <laughs> Four years. Four years I've been playing this game and I still don't know how to get back inside at Port Olisar. You'd think I'd be, no be a little bit better than that now, wouldn't you? Uh, duh, 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 duh. Why are you cycling? Come on, let me in. Do do do. So yeah, as I've said before, for those who've just joined the stream, I have absolutely no goals with this. This stream is purely because I didn't put out a Star Citizen video this week. So I'm just going to be bumbling around, waiting for CIG to say, Hey, guess what? You know, 3.10 is now in first wave PTU and you can actually play it. Because uh, right now, I can't. And it makes me sad. Because I want to try out the new flight combat mechanics. Pad number one, which is that way. So I'm mostly just going to be dicking about, getting some bounces, and all that weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, do, do. I don't even know if I've got any decent weapons on my uh, Avenger, actually. This isn't going to go well, is it? Right. There we go. What have I got on there at the moment? I have got the Neutron Repeaters, which, eh, they're not bad. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I've got totally mixed... I I've still have mixed weapons from when I was doing... Um, I think it was the weapons video, actually. When I was doing the weapons video. Uh, I kind of forgot to swap all my weapons out. Um, fun. Aspen Rogers, hello to you as well. Uh, sorry, let's turn the ship on. That will probably help. And let's make my way over to a Quantum Beacon. Oh, look at that. This ship can actually make it to my destination. Thank you. Oh, that was a bit of a higgledy-piggledy bit of a mess of uh, speech there, wasn't it? Right. Quantum travel. Fantastic. I tell you what, whilst we wait on that, let's have a look at the Star Citizen Leaks Discord. Let's see if there's been any new news that's come out. I have absolutely no idea if there has been, but who knows, right? So look, Star Citizen leaks of news. <laughs> uh, something entirely different. Any more information on the on the rock? I don't think so. It looks like there's not been more much more off the Star Citizen leaks recently. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, let's have a look. 
Well, looks like we've just had a video go up in uh, Star Citizen Leaks for the bartender. I'll have a look at that later. Uh, looks like the Grey Cat Rock, looking at it next to a Banu Defender, is not going to fit inside my Avenger Titan. That makes me really sad, because when I heard about the Rock, and with it being Grey Cat, I was like, great, it'll be, you know, about as big as a Grey Cat. I can stick it in my Titan, boom. I don't need to go out and, you know, earn 2 million UEC to buy myself a Prospector. Nope, it's not going to fit. Uh, and that makes me really sad, because apparently they wanted to fit it in everything. Uh... Looks like all the leaks are to do with bartenders. I seriously hope that the bartender allows me to get drunk. Uh, sounds fine to me. Oh, okay, that's good to hear. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I don't stream very often. I tend to leave that down to Steve, one of the other WSB guys. Um, he deals with all our Sunday stream stuff. So, I'm just winging it. Uh, this isn't my kind of thing. Um, yeah, back to the rock thing. I'm genuinely saddened by that. Because if I can't stick a Grey Cat Rock in the back of here, then what is even the point in me having this ship? The only re So one of the reasons I bought the Avengers Titan, or upgraded it to it rather, is because I could fit a small vehicle in here, right? So I can fit a Grey Cat Buggy, I can fit the, the motorbikes, I really want the, the Tumble Rangers. I am a biker myself in, in real life, um, so them coming into the verse makes me very happy. But I can't fit a grey cat in there, uh, a rock in there, and that makes me sad. Sorry for the rambling, by the way. I don't know really what to talk about when I'm sat in the middle of quantum travel. It's, uh... It's a bit boring, isn't it, really? Travelling at half the speed of light. I think I need to stick a VK-11 in here. Let's keep dragging, trolling through. What else are we looking at? So the face wear, I've already seen that stream actually, the face wear stream was interesting. Uh, don't know if I'll use it myself, but it could be interesting. Unless it looks like we've not got much information. Looking at the uh, roadmap update, so it looks like now the only thing that's actually holding 3.10 back is in fact the bartender. It is almost done, uh, and that makes me very, very happy because... Well, it's only the bartender holding us back. What concerns me is AI has always been CIG's shortfalling. They have always struggled with it, classically. Uh, which is not good. Really not good. Because that is the one thing that is potentially going to delay 3.10 up until the middle of July. Which we none of us want, really. Ugh. <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Right. So I just wanted to get window open because it is really bloody warm in here. Uh, the wonders of the UK weather. It's absolutely terrible outside, and it looks like it's going to bolt it down any minute with about three months worth of rain. But it's also about 30 degrees. <laughs> oh, God, I feel like I'm sat in the middle of Madagascar, or Costa Rica. Lovely country, incidentally. Right, come on. Two million miles away. In hindsight, I probably should have prepared for this a little bit more in advance, but... Hey ho, you live and learn. The wonders of being a new channel and all that. And not having a huge amount to talk about. <clears throat> do 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 do. Come on, nearly there. I 
I'm trying to figure out how it is that all the other streamers, all the, the bigger streamers, manage to get through an entire video where they've got to do, you know, long travel times like this. I can't understand how they manage it. How do they just keep th thinking of things to say? Or are they that... Is it just dependent on interactions with, uh, with the chat or what? I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. Hey. Is it just me or is Hurston on fire? I swear that looks like Hurston's on fire. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Well, going. Right. Let's get ourselves over and get this first bounty. Oh, I hate when it does that. So, route again. Sends you to the wrong orbital marker, gets completely confused because of the. Because uh, your quantum drive's not capable of pre calculating orbital mechanics. <sighs> right. Well, this is going to be interesting, considering I have a, 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 a higgledy-piggledy mixture of fixed, non-fixed, and... Uh, sorry, yeah, fixed and gimbaled weapons of various sizes, and they've not been centred. Although the convergence hasn't been set, so... Ah, uh, chat interaction is a lot of it. Okay, fair enough, Caleb. That, yeah, that makes sense. Um, we're quite a small channel. We don't have a lot of chat interaction, so that would explain... Yeah. Be interesting to know how people start out just as pure streamers, then. Hmm. I'll have to check out some of my uh, fellow newer creators and figure out how they do it, because someone's got to gotta get it right, right? <laughs> right. We are around Aberdeen. Right. Oh, there we go. A bit of a bug there. Couldn't uh, control my ship. Right. Now, this is going to be interesting because, thanks to a character reset, my ship currently has none of the shield upgrades that I normally have running. So I don't have my FR-66 fitted, I don't have my Palisade fitted, I don't have the right weapons. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Where is my bounty? Should be around here somewhere. There's the Quantum Beacon. means you are around here somewhere. Question is, where? Please don't tell me it spawned my enemy inside of a bloody asteroid, because that would be a real pain in the ass. Oh god damn it game, really? Like, seriously? It has spawned... ...my target... ...inside of an asteroid. I don't think I've ever known that to happen before. To start with, you talk a load of bollocks. Yep, I do that. Uh, my handling game is Robot Spartan. That is my handling pretty much every game, actually. Um, it's Ills. Oh, if I actually hit the right key, that would be helpful. There you go. That there is my handle. You can find me on, I think, both on Spectrum and in the game. Uh, that is actually now my handle. Uh, let's have a look. Right, well, as it turns out, that my current accepted mission is a complete and utter load of bollocks, so let's abandon that. General Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter Evaluation, that's Hurston Dynamics, Northrop Group, do-do-do-do. 
Yeah, let's take the hearse and dynamics. Theirs tend to be quite good, actually, and pay really well at the higher end. Uh, wait for that to fix itself. There we go. And I've got to go to another bloody moon. Ah, uh, this game. I love this game so much, but I hate it at the same time. Let's have a look. There we go. Uh, right. Chat delay seems to be an issue. That is entirely plausible. It could also simply be a case of uh, just YouTube being YouTube. So there'll be about a 15, 20 second minute delay. Uh, 20 second minute. 15 to 20 second delay between uh, whatever happens for me and then what happens for you guys. Um, so that may be the reason. So yeah, basically I see you see me 20 seconds after I am, which means your replies I see 20 seconds later, perceived. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Just. Yeah, that. Uh, it's good to see the global chat complaining about things broken as usual. Right. Can I actually get into some combat now? Come on. Right, hopefully this one isn't inside an asteroid. Right. Turn a couple mode off. Come on, where are you, you bugger? Don't actually know if that helps. Come on. Yes, my weapons are working good. Where are you, you bugger? Is this one broken as well? Please don't tell me that this one's broken as well. Because I'm going to be really pissed off if it is. Come on. Let's hit route to the quantum beacon. I'm not just being thick, am I? This is actually appearing to be broken. Oh, this is just fantastic game. Well done. Seems more like two minutes at the moment. That could also just be a, a, conce a consequence of me being terrible at keeping an eye on chat. Um, it's hard to say, really. What I will say is, it appears there is literally nothing around here for me to attack. Um, yeah, it would appear that the Bounty Hunter missions are completely and utterly broken right now. Which is a real shame, because they are, in my opinion, some of the best missions that there are. I'm not doing any of the personal missions, maintenance, mercenary, authorised execution warrants. Maybe this one will actually work, eh? Ooh. Let's give this one a shot. Come on. Track you. Where have they... Oh, is that actually... No, I'm not doing that one. I, I'm terrible at FPS. Uh, this game some... Maybe glass open. This game sometimes. Uh, I shall have a look at Spectrum in just a moment. Uh, call to arms, eliminate threats. Sure, let's do that one. Let's track you. 
Uh, let's go on to Spectrum. Do, do, do. Spectrum. Is this one going to work? I think it might do. Let's head out to the rendezvous point. Right, hopefully, third time's a charm and this one actually fucking works. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was already around Aberdeen, actually. All the fun. Do, 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 do. I'm not signed in to Spectrum at all. Go. Yeah, there we go, Caleb. I uh, just ah, oh, there we go. It just popped up on screen as well to even say that uh, added to my contacts. Do do right. Hopefully this time, I can actually do some level of combat. That's basically all I live for in this game. I am a bounty hunter by trade. Bounty hunting is what I do in this game. I find it to be one of the most efficient and most fun ways of making money. Um, I'm not a fan of being a post office delivery boy. If I wanted to do that, my real job would be a postman. Um, which it's not. So, yeah. Makes me sad when I can't actually shoot things. Right, so he's the guy that I'm supposed to be flying with and I've just got to wait further instruction. I get the feeling this is going to be one of those of fly to this place, shoot some things, fly to this place, shoot some other things. They are never fun. Do do do. Fact. Oops. Wrong button. Uh, it doesn't help that I've spent most of the week playing Imperium. Um, because I've been playing Imperium, I've <laughs> I keep pressing the buttons that I need for that game. Excellent game, by the way. Anyone that hasn't played it, Empyrean is highly recommended. That was close. Good thing I'm quick to react in this ship, isn't it? What are you flying? That's a Drake Herald. Go to patrol area. Well, I would if it let me click on it. Where is... Oh, for God's sake, it's not actually letting me select it. Right. Let's get her up to speed. Oh, it's fine. I hate when it does that. It doesn't let your quantum travel to somewhere. What's the point in having a quantum travel? You know, a, a, an engine that can go, like, 60% of the speed of light when you can't use it, eh? Ready up. You've got hostiles inbound. Contact. Hey! Finally something to kill! Alright, let's switch that to fixed. Uh, fixed weapons are really not in a good place right now. Oh, screw this. Where are you? Oh! 
I just realised I've still got cruise control on. That would explain why I'm having the trouble flying. Ah, oh, screw this. Where are you? There you are. Uh, this is not a good loadout to be using. I have no idea what just happened there. Ooh, let's get out of that. I found the I'm streaming until 3.10 comes out stream. I may have, I may have <laughs> worded the name of that. Kind of badly. I meant to call it, like, wait... I don't even know what I called it. It's supposed to be waiting for 3.10. I'm not streaming all the way to 3.10, because the rate it's going, that's going to be, like, in two weeks, man. And I don't know, like... I would account as so many 30Ks between now and then. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> like, I think I'd probably see every server that CIG has got in that time frame. I'd hit so many 30Ks. Why aren't my weapons converging on the spot? Come on, come on, come on. This is why gimbals are so much better, because... These weapons are shite. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I need to change my weapons up, man. Because nothing seems to actually hit. Hey, got one. Hey. I'm not normally this bad at combat, can I just say? Like, <laughs> I'm actually pretty good. Oh, crap. I don't know why my camera keeps going weird every time I use my afterburner. That is a bizarre bug. I need to report that. Come on. Uh, it's turning faster than I can. Yeah, I know. Fixed weapons are broken. So the, the reason I have fixed weapons currently is uh, when I did the our video the other day on like understanding weapons stats and what everything means I was using fixed weapons to test something um, well, I, th I think I was, no I was using them to demonstrate what the different weapons fires look like and or something like that I forgot to switch them back out and so I've got I've got a neutron repeater no I've got a distortion repeater on the left uh, that's fixed I've got a laser repeater on the right that's fixed, and I've got a gimbaled mantis on the nose. Um, which is why I'm having a real hard time taking out these Mustangs. Normally I'd take out a Mustang in like 20 seconds, max. But, basically I'm just not prepared for this at all. Because it was an off-the-cuff stream with no intent behind it. <laughs> Convergence settings will matter in the control settings if that flying gets fixed, you'll have to... Manage range really well with fix. I use them exclusively. So I actually used to use fixed exclusively up until I think 3.2 or 3.3. Um, that's where fix started to fall behind uh, gimbaled weapons, if I remember correctly. I love uh, I love fixed weapons. I think they're great. I love that I can stick you know a, a revenant ballistic Gatling on the front of my my Titan and just light everything up like I'm flying an ATM Warthog. It's satisfying, it's great, um, but they're just in such a bad place right now. 
And hopefully, hopefully 3.10 fixes that. Um, distortion weapons also need fixing badly. I think that's one of the problems I'm having right now is this is using distortion weapons. Uh, because one of these weapons is a distortion weapon, you can see I'm doing literally no shield damage to him whatsoever. Uh, and therein lies my biggest problem, so... I'm just gonna go pure ballistics. And go with that. And all of a sudden, I'm doing lots and lots of hits. And all my problems have disappeared. <laughs> because of course they have. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm out of missiles as well. Bugger. Is it just me or gimbaled weapons really struggling at the moment? Because a mantis should not be missing that many shots. So, the, the thing with distortion weapons, it's not that they're vastly underpowered. Um, in theory, on paper, distortion weapons are phenomenal at bringing down a shield. The, the issue that they've got is they're completely bugged out. So, there's, there's a desync issue, I believe, at the moment where they're not actually hitting the target, even though they should be. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I may be mistaken, but I believe that's the main issue with them at the moment. And that's why they're actually out DPS'd by energy weapons, which in theory do about a third of the damage. Uh, obviously they can't do hull damage, uh, distortion weapons, which is a big letdown. Uh, or one of their biggest trade-offs. So, in, in tandem with ballistic weapons, they're fantastic. Finally! Jesus! Bloody wet! That was painful. I'm not going to the next patrol area. Uh, off the cuff, Shuma no plan, we showed up. <laughs> then we showed up, yeah. <laughs> uh, where the nose was a chain gun. I fly on Occupy. Uncoupled helps my aim. Uh, I was, I am normally uncoupled. Um, but at the moment, I wasn't. Uh, in that particular instance, I wasn't because I forgot to go into uncoupled, admittedly. What I am going to do is I'm going to completely scrap this mission temporarily. Uh, and I'm just going to go down to... Let's go Everest Harbour, because I can land there. Oops. Because what I need to do is I need to fix my weapons. I cannot do anything at this moment in time until I do that. Uh, Everest Harbour, there you are. Set route. So, yeah, I think that's that needs to be what I do first and foremost, is I need to fix that problem. Uh, I have a feeling they don't calibrate the hoods. So, that, there is a problem with... I think they explained it on it. It might have been either the last Inside Star Citizen or Star Citizen Live. Where th there's a problem where... So, weapons have a specific sort of crossover point, And... At the moment, they're all a little bit different, I think. Uh, and they don't line up properly. And th there's all sorts of weird and wonderful issues. Uh, which is why fixed weapons are so problematic right now, is it's not so much that gimbals are overpowered, which they are, because it's, it's auto-aim, right? But because fixed weapons can't, no matter how good a pilot you are, they can't hit the target. They don't cross over in the right point, they're all over, so... Uh, oh yes, happy 4th of July to any Americans! I forgot today is the 4th of July! I'll, uh... As a Brit, I will avoid any, um... It's a bit of a, well, I'll say sore subject for us, but... <laughs> uh... 
I've only just seen that comment about reminds you of the snub fighters in the Wing Commander movie. Um, you know what? It was so many years ago that I don't remember the Wing Commander movie. I, I think that came out. Oh God, I must I must have still been in in junior school, primary school, whatever you want to call it, uh, when that film came out. It was a long time ago. Um, yeah, I genuinely I know I've seen it. Um, I remember my dad making me sit down and watch it when I was a kid. Um. But I actually don't... I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember Starship Troopers. That film was so bad that I still remember that, but I don't remember Wing Commander. Right, stick her into couple for a second. It's into couple mode and it's still slowing down because of course it is. Nineteen ninety nine. So nineteen ninety nine. I would have been what seven, eight years old. Eight years old. I can't remember. Yeah, I was definitely still in ju uh, junior school, which would explain why I don't remember it. I just realised that's two decades. Wow, two decades ago. That's a long time ago. All right, let's plot me butt down at Everest Arbor. Put the ship in storage. That's the wrong thing. Everest Harbour. So let's put my ship in storage. Fit some proper weapons to her. Uh, where's me landing bay? Hey, Caleb's a Brit too. Yay! Let's 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 not talk about uh, anything to do with the Fourth of July. It's a bit of a uh... yeah. <laughs> so I I work with quite a lot of Americans in my day job. Uh, I work for an American company, so um, yeah, they uh, they always like to rub it in my face about the Fourth of July, mostly because they get to have fireworks in the middle of summer and we don't. Uh, which orientation do I need to be in there? Ah, oh, there we are. Right. Let's aim you to about there. Get you landing gear down. Do do. I keep forgetting she's got wheels. And <laughs> she rolls. Uh, right, let's fix her up. Oh, I've got that bloody bug where you can't fix your ship. Of course I have. Come on. Let, let me let me out. Hey, Asa. Good evening to you, lad. Got married in 99. Fair enough. I have thus far avoided the institution of marriage. Actually, think about it. I did go to a really good wedding in 99. Funnily enough. It might have been 98. Come on. Is it just me? Or are the elevators in Everest Harbour really, really bad? Like, they never turn up. All I want to do is fix my ship's weapons. And the, you know, 50 or so holes in the side of the hull, but... Mostly the weapons. Come on. Ah, sorry to hear that, Arcade. Yeah, bit mouse. Neither have I. I I I got the kid and and all that stuff. I did all that side of it, but I I kind of skipped the uh, the marriage side. See, th there is one good thing about becoming a monk in the UK, right? And that's that you get to make book fast. So those for for anyone that's that's not British, book fast or booky is. The, the most disgusting and terrible drink that's ever been invented and should not exist. But it's it's basically a really alcoholic, um, terrible, terrible thing 
made by a bunch of monks, I believe in Scotland, um, or the, the, sort of around Scotland, and yeah, it's it's one of like the greatest exports for Scotland, but it's it's so bad. Everyone drinks it at Christmas. It's like my my mom insists on buying it every Christmas, and I refuse to drink it. Um, in fact, it's the whole reason I drive to my mother's on Christmas instead of getting a train, is so that I have an excuse not to drink the book fast. Um, yeah. So I've got a couple of all-stop generators, but I don't have... Oh, for... oh, that's from the Mantis, right, that explains it. Right, let's fix me, we me uh, weapons then. Missiles, dominators or ignites. I'll leave the ignites on, because they tend to be a little bit better. Mantis, you can stay in place. Let's put a couple of very pucks on here. And... A couple of Scorpion GT 215s. There we go. Save changes and equip. Or, actually, do I go... No, you know what? Let's, let's go full... Uh... Whoops. I did the wrong thing there. Let's go full laser. Let's go full laser. Because that way I don't have to come back again. Uh, very puck. And badger. There is no way I've only got the one badger. I've only got one badger. Well, looks like we're going full uh, ballistics then. Technically full ballistics is slightly better anyway. So that's not a major thing. Uh... I don't drink, it dulls the mind. That's the good thing about alcohol. I need to look into that. I've not heard of that drink. Don't buy book fast, okay? It's not worth it. <laughs> like, if you're gonna buy anything that comes from Scotland, buy whiskey. That's the only, like, don't buy book fast. It's so bad. <laughs> Uh, I have three S3 tarantulas on my Titan. Again, not too smart. So, th the only issue with that is you're then running um, a, a mixture of fixed and gimbaled weapons. Which I would always avoid, uh, advise against. Oh no, I've got that bloody bug. Oh wait, no. No, it is actually on the pad. Thank god for that, I thought I had the ship spawn bug. Um, yeah, so the, the problem with putting uh, a bunch of tarantula, uh, only tarantulas on is then you've got that mixture of um, sort of fixed and gimbaled weapons, which just doesn't work. I personally, when using fixed weapons, or at least when back when distortion weapons worked, ran a couple of distortion repeaters and a Revenant. I then switched to the CF337s and the Revenant. So I like having a mixture of laser and ballistic weapons, mostly because then if I run out of ammo, I'm not shit out of luck. Um, and believe me, there have been a few instances... Where the fuck has this just taken me? Uh, there have been a few instances where I have been left high and dry without any ammunition. Uh, I think it let me remove the nose gimbal if I remember... Yes, yes, so... Any any weapon hard point that has a gimbal on it, um, you can remove that gimbal. Gimbals are not forced. Uh, I think the only exception to that technically is size one weapons, where or size one hard points, where you can gimbal them if you want, or you can run fixed. It's entirely up to you. Um, obviously, common sense dictates you gimbal them, but uh, yeah, there, there's absolutely nothing stopping you running um, fixed weapons where you otherwise have gimbals. It allows you to upsize as well. So you can run, you know, on the Titan, you can run two size threes and a size four. Uh, the same applies to the 325A, because that has the same hard points as the Avenger Titan. Um, except it has more missiles, but... So yeah, the, the there's a few options you have available. I just never run... Oh, excuse me. Never run fixed and gimbaled at the same time. It's a bad call. Right, now that I actually have a fully functional ship, and weapons that are actually going to work... <laughs> Mate, dude! Hi, Steve. How you doing? I'm wondering if Steve's going to be lovely and, uh, well, I'd say moderate the chat for me. Uh, I just hope the fixed mounts are better. Yeah, so, looking at, from based on what they've been saying, um, fixed is going to be substantially better in 3.10. Unfortunately, because I'm not, well, even if I was Eva Carti, I couldn't tell you because that would kind of 
break the terms and conditions of Ivercati. So, um, but from what we've seen from Star Citizen leaks uh, from the Ivercati people, it should should um, be better. I hope. Right, I'm going to try Bounty Hunter again, and hopefully this time it's not broken. He says it's probably going to be broken again. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. Right. Let's see where we're going. But yeah, so from, from what they've said with fixed weapons, um, from the way that I understood it, is if you line your crosshair, bang on the target, that was weird, if you line your crosshair, bang on the target, 100% of your shots are going to hit. And then, as you get further away from the target, you're going to have uh, a sort of drop-off on hit percentage, right? So, less chance. So, the, the way that I understand it in my head is, if you bang on target, 100% hits. If you're half a degree off, 20% of your shots are going to miss. But you're still going to hit 80% of them. If you're a, a full degree off, 40% will, will miss. Those numbers are arbitrary, they're not the actual numbers, but that, in my mind, seemed to be how they were explaining it. And I'm perfectly fine with that, um, because it is aim assist in a way, but it's realistic. <laughs> yeah, Starship Troopers was so bad, so bad it was great. Steve, how far behind are you? Um, yes, yeah, Starship Troopers was so amazingly bad. The second one was... The first one was so bad it was good, the second one was so bad it was just bad. Uh, I think there's a third one, but I kind of avoided watching it. Because, no. <laughs> uh, I learned to run all the same weapons, so hopefully I'll get better. still have a hard time enjoying uh, going to energy and gimbaled. Um, energy weapons... Uh, energy weapons are a bit of a mixed bag. It depends what you're using. If you use the M6As, which a lot of uh, ships come with, they're shit. If you use the badgers, uh, or the, the CF series, they're amazing. Uh, how they explained it in the podcast was that the fix of convergence on fix not being so strict and allowing to hit where they were missing. Yeah, so I Yeah, basically I was just in, in my mind. I try and like figure out how things work. That's why I started doing the um, That's why I've, I've started making the the star citizen um, Hitchhiker's guide to the verse videos that I've been making is because I, I'm a very technical person, I'm very analytical, and I, I want to know how things work. I'm trying to understand everything. Anyone remember the Starship Troopers? There was a Starship Troopers game, are you shitting me? Is that actually a thing? Steve, you're in the chat right now. We need to find this, and we need to make it one of our videos for a Sunday stream. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to find that. After, after I finish dicking around in this game, I'm totally going to find that. Um... Because that, I love the sound of. Right. That's the wrong button. Ooh. What are you shooting at me with? Oh, look at that. I have the proper weapons and li not even... He didn't even get past me. He didn't even fly past me and he was dead. Oh, that was so much better. Right. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me so happy to actually have weapons that work. There we go. Now we're talking. Right. Authorized execution warrant. That is... That's the one that's down on the ground, so that's no good to me. Uh, I need to accept call to arms because I actually haven't yet. Uh, eliminate threats. No. Let's take a nice, easy bounty to begin with. Where you at, boy? Let's have a look. I just had a really giant ass moth fly right past my head. That is a really big moth. Uh, there was a Starship Troopers uh, FPS. Yeah, totally gonna find that. There was an animated series for Starship Troopers? How did I not know about this? Uh, I've watched so many spacings over the years. Wait, there's a Starship Troopers real-time strategy coming in 2020. What? It could be awesome, but if they don't make it so bad it's good, I'm going to be seriously disappointed. Because if, if it's just an amazing game, 
then they failed the Starship Troopers franchise, as far as I'm concerned. Nothing Starship Troopers should be good. Well. Yeah. Right. Starship Troopers Roughnecks. I will look that up uh, after the stream. I only have one monitor, so I can't do it at the same time as um, as flying and playing a game. Um, I actually have to read the chat from my phone. I have my phone perched up against my monitor. I'm reading the chat from my phone. Um, I really need to buy a second monitor. It's one of those things that's been on my list of things to buy for years, and I've just never gotten around to. Right, G safe is. Well, at least I thought I turned G safe off. G safe is off. Right. Should be a bounty around here somewhere. Come on, where are you? Contact. Oh! Where are you? Where is he? Hey, there you are. What are you in? Uh, Mustang Delta. I'm not even going to bother with a missile on this one, I don't think. Right, got myself a bit of height and light him up. Night, night, sleep tight, boy. That's satisfying. I linked a video of the FPS in Discord. Nice one. Uh, Twenty quid off eBay. Yeah, it's 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 one of those things where I can I can just go and grab one tomorrow, but it just keeps slipping on my mind. You know, it's yeah. Let's have a gander then. Where's this one? Uh, track you. Where are you at? Neutralize quantum beacon. Oh, that's not so far, actually. Oh, it's broken. Right, let's clear that route, set the route. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Don't you just hate when it breaks? Right, what's going on here? Let's have a look. That's the Merc one, that's that one. On track, track. Back to my map. Quantum Beacon. Interesting. Let's turn everything off. Let's clear that route. Let's turn everything back on. I have a sneaking suspicion that's really broken. Oh, he says that. It said contact. Where's where's? I have contact. Where's contact? Oh, hello. Oh, I've just realised that's only 5,000 metres away. I read it as substantially further. Oh, that's a... Oh, why aren't flares working? Also, why isn't my thing working? Why aren't you locking onto any of my targets, you stupid bloody shit? Yeah, what on earth? Right, let's put you into thingy mode. For some reason, I can't target anything. Why can't I target anything? It's the wrong button. Something is going seriously wrong. Let's turn everything off. 
everything back online. Hey, there we go, fixed it. Problem resolved. There's an asteroid in the way, Sean. What are you in? Oh, that's an M50 interceptor. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh shit! Come on, die already! Boom! All right, let's get the heck out of dodge. Uh, try to turn it off and on again. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Ah, okay, so just opening tab mode will fix it. That's good to know. I need to get out of here until my shields can recharge. Oh, I hate how long it takes for these shields to recharge. This is why I want my FR66 back. Curse you, game restart. A character reset. Oh, what the hell? Bit of rubber band in there. You should be dead by now. It's just a buccaneer. Ah, damn it. Yep, F. <laughs> God damn it. First point in any sh uh, future Star Citizen troubleshooter guide. Yeah, no, that's that's a good shout. I, I genuinely didn't know that opening scanner mode could fix it. Also, I don't know why it says that you're in a completely different location to where you truly are every time you die. Uh, I'd say, to be honest, that's probably a good place to uh, end the stream because this is the point where the game usually crashes for me is when I, reach, uh, when I get killed. So, apologies for the slow start there, ladies and gents. Hey, I actually got back in. Uh, apologies for the slow start there, ladies and gentlemen. I did have some uh, issues. Namely, that I didn't actually think to, you know, go to where I do most of my missions at the beginning of a stream. Uh, not being able to target might have screwed you a bit. Yeah, it... I, that... My inability to fly very well uh, might have had something to do with it. Um, it's entirely possible. Um... Yeah, I think not being able to target anything definitely didn't help. Not having the right shields as well. The The default shields of the Avenger Titan are great. Don't get me wrong. But the recharge time on them is bloody atrocious. Um, and as I said earlier, because I had to do a character reset, unfortunately, I lost my FR66. Um, I, was running two, uh, I was running two of them. They're fantastic shields because the regen rate is so high. Um... Yeah, it is all good fun either way. It, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be fun if there was no challenge. And there'd be no challenge if you never died, right? Uh, that's an all-star. That's a fortitude. That's an eco-flow. Don't bother buying coolers if you want to know why. Watch our video on the coolers. Uh, or ship components as a general. Uh, uh, they don't have... Oops. They don't sell the FR-66 here. I forgot about that. I'm going to need to go to Microtech, I believe, for the FR-66. Which is a bit of a shame, but, uh, oh well. Are you using shield hardening? So, shield hardening as a, a thing, from what I understand, uh, thanks to comments in one of our videos, that's currently broken. It doesn't work. Um, yeah, FR and Mirage is also a very good combination. I prefer, because I like to get up close and personal, that's why I go for the... Uh, well, I actually tend to go for, uh, I think it's the Palisade and the FR-66, I forget, ex I can't remember exactly. Um, but the Mirage is very good. Uh, Bitmouse, so hardening is on your ship's MFD, um, if you look at the shield icon, you can select one of the shield locations and say that you want to harden it. In fact, I'll tell you what, easier ex to ex than explaining, I'll show... Um, yeah, just have just have a look in our, our YouTube channel, uh, Michael. 
So if you if you have a look in our channel uh, after the stream or whenever, um, you'll find we've we've done a couple of videos recently on Star Citizen. They're they're all instructional guides, things like that. Um, that's the sort of thing we like to focus on. Uh, but yeah, so one of one of the comments in one of those videos was that shield hardening as a as a mechanic is currently broken. It doesn't actually harden the shields. Um, whether or not that's the case, I haven't been able to test. Unfortunately, it can be a pain in the ass to test it. Um, do, 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 do. Sorry, just replying to him, or just reading a message there rather. Yeah, I will just quickly. Before I end this, I'm just going to jump into the Freelancer to show you what the, the shield hardening actually is. And also because it's going to take a while for my ship to come back up. I would use the Freelancer for combat, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good with slow ships. Um, I'm actually terrible with slow ships. And the Freelancer, as great as it is, I'm never actually going to own one myself. Um, I, I don't think, I genuinely don't think I will ever own one. I think the only hauler I ever intend to get is going to be the, is it the C, yeah, the C2 Hercules. Uh, that's the only hauler that I intend to get in game. Uh, I sure as shit ain't paying for it with real money because it's expensive and I'm sorry, Star Citizen, you're not worth 500 quid. Uh, right. So shield hardening. When the ship actually turns on, there we go. Oh, there we go. I've already got the shields up. So, on the shield uh, hood here, you can see you can select uh, either the, the fore, aft, port, or starboard. If you click on one of them, you'll notice it starts flashing. And what that's doing is it hardens the shield. Now, it's it's a percentage value. Uh, again, look at our, um, our ship components video. I, I explain it all in there. But basically, what that does is it boosts the amount of health pool that that shield face has. Um... You can only do it... I think you can only do it to one shield at a time. So if you're going straight on at a target, harden your front shield, right? This is one of the few instances where uh, multi-crew combat works, other than for using uh, turrets, of course. But yeah, so at the moment, from what I know, it is broken. But the idea is that you can use that to increase the health pool of a single shield phase. What I should have realistically been doing is I should have been doing this. Which I don't think is going to work at the moment because the shields aren't full. I should have been... Oh, there we go. I should have been doing that. I should have been funneling shield health into other parts of the shield. So that you can do with a numpad. It allows you to pump. Uh, so if you're not getting attacked from behind, you can take shield health away from the back to the front. Uh, I'll end you my Banu Merchantman when it gets in game. Yeah, in like three years? I, I don't know when the BMM is going to come. I was tempted with the BMM, I must admit. it's It looks to be an interesting ship. But... I've kind of got a soft spot for Crusader ships. I love the way they look. I think they're beautiful. Um, and for me, aesthetics, like, form takes just as much an important role as function. And... <laughs> yes! I was wondering when it had happened. 30k! Just around the time I said I was going to end the stream anyway. I got a 30k. Well done, Star Citizen. Well done. And I think... On that bombshell. Uh, no numpad. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, if you don't have a numpad, then you can't. You can buy separate... Um, you can buy a separate standalone numpad. Uh, a lot of games are reliant on them now, so it's it's definitely worth getting uh, those standalone numpads. Um, let's have a look. Freelancer is easy money. Yeah, freelancer is easy money. That can't be denied. Uh, so one of the things I do use it for when I have a decent amount of capital is I do use it for, for cargo running. Um, because it is, it is really good money, especially if you're doing drug running. If you know how to do the drug run routes, um, you can make so much dollar on that. Um, how do you undo the hardening? Uh, you can't actually undo the hardening. You just have to wait for it to time out, I believe. I may be mistaken on that, but I believe that's the case. Uh, not a proper day without a 30k. You're damn right it's not. Buy a nagger. Funnily enough... Um, I actually used to own a Razor Nagger. Um, so I have actually owned two Razor Naggers. Both broke within two years. So I actually switched to a Corsair Scimitar, which is exactly the same. It has the numpad on the thumb. I actually have it currently set to the function keys. So I don't have to take my hand off the mouse or off the, the keys if I want to open my Moby Glass, things like that. I also have a Razor Orb Weaver, which means I can just move my keyboard completely out of the way 
and then my orb weaver takes up all the keyboard stuff the mouse takes up all the mouse stuff joysticks in the middle nice and comfortable so that's another option um, as I have 30 k and um, because I have a perpetual bug wherein if I exit out the game, I never actually get into the loading screen. I have to alt F4. I'm going to call it there. Um, yeah, thanks all for joining in on this rather random stream for my first ever solo stream as well. I don't normally do these. Uh, thanks for being so interactive in the chat as well. That definitely makes it a lot easier to stream. Uh, yeah, you guys have been great. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, we will catch you all next time.